So I decided to try and secure my own sponsorship on Instagram. And this is what happened. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Anthony McLemore if you're new to the channel. And on this channel, I talk about a whole bunch of stuff ranging from basketball stories all the way to YouTube analytics. And now I plan on starting to talk about how to do things like build your own brand on social media in order to get cool sponsorships for free. So as I was in my bed last night, I was thinking of some new ways to make new content. And I had this sort of epiphany where I could follow my progress for creating my own brand. But as I do that, I make an episode for each series where I document the progress of making the brand this is gonna go through things like making logos making websites making merchandise a whole bunch of stuff and if I was gonna do it for myself anyways I feel I could give back to the small YouTube community and show you guys how to do it as well Aww. now obviously I'm gonna to try to make this as fun as possible I'm gonna bring some fiber creators into it to see if they can make some designs better than I can I got a whole bunch of ideas but that is for another video this video however is how I managed to get my hands on my very own sponsor as a small content creator and not really an influencer in general simply by reaching out to companies so here's the story mini story time right now so i was scrolling through my instagram explore page and i saw a whole bunch of sponsored ads sponsored posts of people just getting some free clothes and cool stuff in general in order to make an instagram post now at the time I had about 18 or 19,000 followers on Instagram and I thought well if these people can get free stuff for having a following why can't I? So it was that thought that led me to message in the clothing company Fashion Nova. I'm not really sure what led me to Fashion Nova in fact but it was simply one of the first ones that came to mind when I thought about getting some cool free stuff. So I immediately went over to Fashion Nova men and shot them a DM that went a little bit like this. I said how big does my audience have to be to be a brand ambassador for you guys? Nothing too crazy I simply just want to know what kind of audience I would need in order to get free stuff. I want a free Stuff right now but I was in my research stage and I didn't really expect to be approved so I just asking for a little bit of background information and then they hit your boy back with this response say hey thanks for reaching out please email Gia at fashionover.com for collaboration increase and be sure to include your social media handles and I said okay thanks and I went on to email Gia now at this point I wasn't expecting much I knew they wanted to give me an answer right through the DMs and I was even glad that they gave me an email to reach out to so I went over and emailed Gia over on my Gmail and this is how that conversation played out so I went over to my mail app and I typed the email ambassador inquiry so then i went on to say hello i am emailing to inquire about the audience range that you look for in your ambassadors right now i would only like a soft estimate of how large my audience would need to be before consideration if my audience is too small now i can grow and inquire about ambassadorship again in the future instagram handle at ak mclemore followers 19,000. thanks anthony mclemore so as you can obviously see i didn't just go and email these guys hey give me some free clothes i want to be an ambassador let me get some right now i honestly just thought she was gonna hit me back with the answer of 100,000 followers with a certain number of engagement and I really didn't expect much from this initial request other than some nice information in return so about a day goes by they send me an email about once a day so this whole conversation took place over about two weeks so while I was releasing some of my other content I was still working on this video and I was thinking about doing a daily update of this sort of ambassadorship challenge I guess as it was going on but I wasn't sure if it was going to fall through in the very end I just wanted to make sure I actually got the close before I started recording the video in order to not waste too much time so then a day later on July 15th she hit your boy back with hello Anthony thanks for reaching out can you please send over your insights and demographics best so I was like, okay cool you know she probably just want to make sure that I'm not really lying about my follower size not that she's gonna actually approve me but she just want to see where I'm at so she can know where I need to go if that makes sense as you can see it's from the official fashion over got the official fashion over sign all the logos all the right addresses all that good stuff so this is how you know this is not a made-up email although I guess it still could be then I said of course here they are so I sent over a picture of my insights I showed her my weekly action activity about 12,500 people reached and about 96,000 impressions about 16,000 action taken on my account over the week which includes 15,215 profile visits and 1,181 website clicks which the website clicks at the time was people coming over to my YouTube channel in order to check it out. Now I have been using Instagram very, very heavily in order to try to grow my YouTube channel. That has been one of the most exclusive sources of my growth. And that's one of the reasons why I went from about 500 followers to about almost 1400 followers that I am at now. The only thing that I found with Instagram so far is that the people that come over don't really engage with the videos a whole lot. So I gotta do a little bit to balance out the subscribers and the engagement. Because if I try to bring too many people over from Instagram, they come to YouTube, then my engagement will fall very, very low. And that's not really something I'm looking for for my channel but it was great to get enough people over to cross the 1,000 subscriber milestone and I'll probably still continue to bring people over until I can cross that 4,000 watch hour milestone as well but as I go through all my engagement I screenshot them and sent them over to her and that was on July 15th and on July 16th she responded to boy thanks Anthony would you be interested in a gifting collaboration a what <laughs> Now your boy had no idea what a gifting collaboration was, so I had to Google search 
what is a gifting collaboration on Google and this is what I found. Now it sounds pretty obvious what it is, but this is exactly what Google says. Google says that gifting collaborations allows you to try new brands and products which allow you to create fresh, helpful content for your readers. These products may just become your new favorites or they might remind you of why you love your current brand. So this doesn't sound completely intuitive, but basically you get free stuff in order to make sponsored posts for the brand that's sending you that stuff. Now, keep in mind that this is exactly what I was looking for when I said I wanted to reach out to brands and get some clothes or some free stuff in the first place. I wasn't necessarily looking for a paid promotion or any sort of thing like that. I simply just wanted to see if I can get some free stuff in return for me posting some posts on my Instagram page. So when she said, are you interested in a gift and collaboration, man, my heart lit up and my eyes were excited. I was like, of course. So I tried to hide my excitement a little bit. So I went on to say, hey Gia, yes, a gift and collaboration would be great best inference she hit me back three days later not even one day so i started this email exchange on july 14th so at this time it is july 20th a full six days later from the start of it and she said hey apologies for the inconvenience we just informed that we are making a few changes to our gifting program and let me know if you're able to move forward with eight monthly items of your choosing in exchange for four posts and two swipe up to highlight reels three frames each then they go on to talk about some of the guidelines and their restrictions as far as what the post should be about how you should post and what what kind of clothes you should include in it or whatever but all i saw was eight free items a month so <laughs> in my head i'm thinking like are you sure like are you sure you want are you sure you want to offer me eight free items and i get it, it's about four posts and two story fees so it's only about two items per post which isn't a ton but it is enough for a whole outfit minus the shoes and any kind of headwear i'm going to be wearing and keep in mind it is eight things completely for free that i don't have to pay for so your boy read through the whole email i wasn't going to miss any beat because i didn't want to get myself caught up to anything where i would actually have to pay anything so i made sure that everything was going to be completely for free and i responded with this i said hey no worries i am able to agree to those terms and move forward thank you and freedom mclemore so that was on july 22nd and on july 23rd she responds and says hey looping in your new account manager men's fashion over to start our collaboration so at this point it's getting serious now i actually have a fashion over men's manager to manage me as far as getting my clothes for me and then after that on the same day i replied hey okay looking forward to it best anthony and then my fashion over men's manager emails me on the same day and says hi anthony i'll be taking over communication from here nice to meet you i'll be your account manager moving forward smiley face thank you so much for your interest we would love to have you promote us on your instagram and then they give us some posting guidelines as they did earlier of how i should post my pictures and the quality i should include yada 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 so then she says we hope to build a long-term relationship with you and we want to set up a recurring package along with this you will have a chance to be promoted on our pages at fashion over men and at fashion over for more exposure in exchange for promoting our brand so not only am i getting an opportunity to get free clothes here i'm also getting an opportunity to get promoted on fashion over men's instagram page and the total fashion over page which has over 10 million followers so you best believe your boy is super excited about this because if i'm able to take a high enough quality picture where i get actually posted on fashion nova imagine how many people will come back and follow me or click on my link to the instagram page and further allow us to grow our brand and what i'm doing right now as far as the channel grows is i'm trying to grow into monetization and once monetization starts we want to start doing some challenges some really cool things but i really want the channel to support itself first so i'm not pouring a ton of my own money into it so as the channel grows and gets bigger and starts making more money i'm going to start spending more money Money on each video to make it even better in the future and to kind of snowball it that way so she tells me to pick eight items from the fashion nova site and that's when i go over to fashion nova and start to look through that catalog now keep in mind even though i am getting eight items that is not a lot when you're trying to make four photos from it so i don't want to be wearing the same thing in no two photos so i have to really ration out what i'm getting because this is supposed to be a month's worth of content so in the end i let my beautiful fiance help me decide what clothes to pick and i honestly end up going with a lot of tops and hoodies simply because you can change your hoodie out and wear the same pair of pants and it looks like a totally new outfit so i go on to pick my eight items and add it to the cart and the total comes out to 280 dollars i'm like there's no way they're gonna approve this i did opt for some of the more expensive items some of the more durable items like hoodies and i thought well maybe there must be some kind of cap on this as how much i can get with my eight items so i get the link and i send it over to it and i say hello area nice to meet you i look forward to building our business relationship together i have read the posting guidelines and agreed to abide by them i have also selected the eight items for the promotion as requested and they are attached to the link below i didn't sending my information and hope for the best and this email was sent to me last friday on july 24th so i was planning on making a video last thursday on the fashion Nova video but it actually took a little bit long to get here but after a while and after a ton of waiting this happened so i just got a notification from the delivery guy from the ups saying the package was delivered so we're going to check outside the door just to make sure it's there and let's see what we have 
So look what we have on the ground here. We got our Fashion Nova package. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, your boy got a package in the mail. Now, you know how we do it on this channel. We don't got a lot of experience with unboxing, but we do try to make it fun. So let's do this as best as we can. So as you know, we gotta keep the tradition going with the machete, but I actually prepared a little bit more for it this time, and I got the bucket hat back. So we got our bucket hat, we got our machete, and let's get into this package. This is my first time opening this, so I'm not sure what's inside exactly, but hopefully they have all of my items in the right size. So first thing first, I don't know if you guys can see, but we actually have a shoe box type box inside of our Fashion Nova box. So let's see exactly what's inside of there. Now this is a this is a beautiful box. I honestly expected it to come in those little plastic bags that most clothes come in. And it's not only one of these boxes, but there are two of these boxes. So we have two huge Fashion Nova boxes that I'm assume is full of the clothes that we have. Man, this is great. This is this is awesome. I can't believe I got this stuff. I haven't even looked at it, but I can't believe I got this stuff for completely free. I didn't even have to pay for shipping. I'm gonna take the hat off now since I'm done unboxing. And let's set these right here. So in the first box, let's see. This is gonna be our first look together. Let's see what we have here. This is the first box. Oh, this is cool. This is absolutely cool. So we got eight items here. I'm not gonna be doing one of those videos where I try on every item. I don't know, I may be, I'm not sure. Nope. So the first item is part of a set I know this is the hoodie and I actually got some pants to go with it. So this is gonna be a one set and I plan on doing this in a picture. And this actually looks extremely cool and extremely high quality. So I'm not sure exactly how much this costs, but I'm almost certain that the jacket was $35 and the pants was $30 or something close to it. Let's see if I can set this right here without knocking all of my things over. But moving on, I have a t-shirt. This is one of the only t-shirts that I actually got from them and it says designer. I thought it would be pretty cool to wear in the shirt. And I didn't want to get all hoodies because it is the summertime and it will get pretty hot pretty quickly. But I think that this would be a pretty cool t-shirt. It does feel pretty thick. This is a very nice quality shirt. I can't even lie, it's, it's not very thin. It does feel like it's made out of cotton, obviously, but it's not a very thin, gilding like shirt that I've, I've been hearing some reviews about. Let's see if I can find a price tag on here. No, no price tag. So it's a very simple shirt. All it says is designer on the front and it probably costs about $18. I thought that this would be a pretty cool shirt to get. And the last thing in this box, as you can see, this one is empty. So I'm guessing they put four things in each box. The last thing in this box is, are these gray sweatpants. And I'm not sure if I even picked these out. I think maybe my fiance actually picked these out. And they're just simply some gray sweatpants that are gonna go with some of the other items that I assume are in the other box. So if I was to do a rough estimate, that's about $140 worth of free stuff that I just unboxed. And now I'm done with my first box. And I actually will keep this box with some stuff. I'm not sure, but I probably can put some nice shoes in there or just some, some storage in it. So for now, it's just gonna go, just gonna go right here. So moving on to the second box. Now this looks cool. I just opened up a little bit. So let's show you what this box looks like when you open it up. Oh yeah. Now this is one of the items that I picked out myself. So, and the first item I see on top is one that I'm most excited about, and that is this pink Polaroid Fashion Over Man hoodie. Oh man, this is gonna look cool in the picture. This is gonna look cool in the picture. So on the front it says Polaroid, on the side it has some cool green and black effect going on. This is, this is gonna be a cool picture. This might be the first picture I post if it's not actually the yellow and black jumpsuit. That's gonna be a cool picture. Now this, the second item, I don't know if I'm more excited about the pink Polaroid hoodie or this item that's next, but I'm really excited about this item. This is a light blue PlayStation hoodie. This was so cool. When I saw this on the website, I knew I had to copy even if I wasn't gonna put it in the picture. So obviously I opted for things like clothes. I, I could have opted for things like watches and face masks and hats and stuff like that. But I really wanna get the most value for my sponsorship because I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. I know the email said a recurring sponsorship, but maybe they see my first four posts and they think I'm not getting enough engagement on my pictures in order for them to continue going. So that's why I really wanted to opt for some hoodies and some long-term stuff that I can keep even if I don't continue the sponsorship. Now this hoodie says PlayStation on the front and it has some Chinese letters or I'm not sure what language that is. And I just think this is just looks so cool. This is gonna look so cool as an outfit. This is awesome. That's one of my favorite items. Next I have two items that go together. These are my final two items. So these two is like a set. And the first thing is another hoodie. I got a ton of hoodies as I said. The most bang for your buck. Your boy wanted to get as much value as possible. <laughs> out of Fashion Nova. Maybe if I do it again, I may get some more t-shirts and things, but I don't know, I really like getting hoodies. I wear hoodies a lot. And this is a two-tone hoodie. 
this looks so cool so so far i've seen that all the sizes are correct the tops are large and the bottoms are extra large i need extra large in the bottom because i am kind of tall at six foot seven so i need to make sure my legs are covered up and the last item i'm gonna unbox or that i have here to unbox are these khaki jogger like pants simply to go with that last hoodie so this is super cool yep they're the same size or as extra large as the other pair and i'm gonna be trying this stuff on not in this video but after this video just to make sure it all fits so that's the end of the second box and i'm just super happy with how this whole thing went so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you want some tips and tricks on how to reach out to brands as i have reached out to a few other brands in order to get some sponsorship as well other than fashion nova then drop a comment down below and i will do a whole video on that but i also am super excited about this sort of starting a brand from scratch idea that i have now i know a lot of small content creators follow my channel and i think that this video series or episode series how however long it's going to be is going to be really helpful to people who are just getting started or people who want to get started with making money online as a sort of passive income away from their main source of income and my goal is to give you a blueprint with each video on how each step of the journey is and what you can do to fast track your way to making another stream of income now obviously because of my job i can't talk about personal finance but this is business finance so it's not technically personal finance so i think i can get away with it and before i end this video i did get one more sponsorship that i'm not talking about in this video but it is a webcam a 1080p webcam and this is going to be my first giveaway on this channel. So if you want a chance to win this webcam, it's about $30 on Amazon. All you have to do is leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram, and send me a DM that you've done that. And you'll be put in running to get this webcam free of charge, shipped to your address, all for support in the channel. And I, now I know that this was a little bit of a long video. And because I'm putting a lot more effort into my videos, I'm not sure if I'm going to be continuing to post them two times a week. I may post one time a week, but I do like my Monday and Thursday posting schedule. So I guess we'll see. As I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel that this is the start of a very long and successful journey as a content creator and as an influencer on social media in general and if all things keep going well and all things keep going at this pace then we'll be able to be one of the largest channels on youtube in due time as long as we keep it consistent and keep it persistent with our goals so that's pretty much all i have for you today guys and until next time peace